Emily, time to get up. Grandma's gonna take you to school, okay? I'm going to work. Yeah, well, I'm taking the car to work, too. I'm a high school teacher. <sighs> like, I knew that, Dad. Um, my boyfriend's gonna pick me up. Okay. <sighs> so, Mom. Mom. <sighs> Hi, sweetie. Yes, dear. Can you take Emily to work? I'm going to go upstairs and have a coffee and wait for my boyfriend to take me. Like, I guess. Okay, oh, sorry, puppy. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, this is the life. Now I can just sit here and relax. Well, I better get going. I think I kind of slept in. See you later. Bye. I'll go this way. Emily, now you get ready for school, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, Emily. Oh, dog, move. <coughs> Leave the dog alone. I have toothpaste in my mouth. <sighs> Leave the dog alone, Grandma! Okay, Emily, let's go, okay? Hold up a sec. Nicole! It's still here! Yeah, what about it? Well, if you're here, then you can take Emily to school. Mom! Let me get something straight. I'm not taking her. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to pick me up. Why do you always wait around on him to take you up? No, you have your own way to get this to work. You can take the bus. Mom, he offers to pick me up, okay? I'm not just gonna say, Oh, sorry, you can't pick me up. I'm taking the bus. Like, that's not right. Oh, whatever, Nicole. Just, you should be taking your daughter to school. Not making me have to get up early. Ugh. Mom. Oh, my God. Mom, it's like a five-minute walk to school. Not even. You can literally see the school... The, the class from the window here. Ugh, mothers. Grandma, can you walk me in? Walk you in, Emily. Um, like, you can, you know where your class is, like. <laughs> I have only had to walk you in a few times this year. I know, Grandma, but please, can you walk me in today? I, there's just this big kid that's in, like, grade six or seven, and he, he keeps bullying me. He keeps picking on me and stuff, because one day I brought a doll to school, and he, <laughs> he what? Why are you crying? He picked on me. He said that I was a baby. Oh, so I really, really want you to come in. Please, Grandma, please. Oh, fine. I'll walk you to your class just because you're only six years old. My goodness. Emily, I don't see him. Just there, there he is. Oh, hey, loser. What do you have today? Oh, you're bringing your grandma. What is it? Bring your grandma to school today? Excuse me, little boy. What can you tell me to do, lady? Oh, you have such an attitude. Stop picking on my granddaughter. And leave her alone. You're in like grade 7 or whatever. Ow. Don't hurt me. Well, don't hurt my granddaughter. She's been complaining about you. Ow. Teacher, um, excuse me, ma'am, you cannot hit a child. Well, this boy is bullying my daughter, granddaughter, so you need to put a stop to that. Okay, to the principals now. No, she needs to go to the principal. Hey! Oh. Ow! You kicked my nose! Ow! Oh, little boy, I actually feel kind of bad. Here, Emily, just go to class. <sighs> no, Grandma! Fine, I'll go to class. It's out this morning. Good morning. Oh, Emily, dear, what's wrong? <sighs> Still lying? Yeah. <sighs> ah! Ah, what are you doing in here? Get out, get out! Ah, close the door! Ah! <sighs> Let me in! <sighs> Ow. Lady didn't need to punch my nose. Ow. Ow. 
Ah, close the door. Oh my God, ma'am, don't. Hi there. What are you doing? Um, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Close the door. Quit opening it! I'm sorry, little boy. I just want to come in here. You're not going to the toilet. I'm just not saying I'm sorry for doing that, okay? But you need to show my granddaughter more respect and kindness. No, ma'am. Your granddaughter needs to... I do not like this attitude. I'm going straight to the principal's office. No! My husband is a high school teacher and he'll put you in line. <laughs> yes, Principal, there's a naughty boy in the bathroom. Okay, we'll wait for him. I will even take what apologize to my granddaughter. Okay. Little boy, come out of the restroom now. You need to come and apologize. I'm cleaning my nose. Oh my gosh. Well She punched me. You well I didn't mean I didn't know. He was just uh, he oh my gosh. Okay, come out, please. You've been in there long enough. You're gonna be late to your first hour class. I don't care about that. I just, ugh. Come out. Okay, so we are taking you down to the um, little girl's class, and you are going to apologize, young man, okay? Fine. Well, it's like you cleaned up that nosebleed or whatever you had. Come on. Yes, Mr. Lambert. <sighs> Oh, hi, are you coming to class? No. Mrs. Robinson, we have a little incident to deal with. I don't think he's going to class today. Okay. Um, wait, you're not in my class? Never mind. Oh my gosh. You're in the sixth grade class. Oh my god. You better get to class too, Miss Robinson. Okay. So, um, is this her class? Yes. Okay, students, so today we're going to learn about the primary colors, and... Oh, that's the bell. Um, okay, we only have a few today, but... Um, excuse me, can we speak to Emily in the hallway for a minute, please? Ooh, class enough. Yes, Emily, you may go in the hallway. Grandma, you're still here? Yeah, Emily, I was wanting to confront this bully for you. Now... Say your story to my granddaughter. I will not say you are sorry to her. No, I'm not apologizing. Well, if you don't apologize, then you will be going getting suspended. Ugh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Thanks. Just stop picking on me every morning, okay? Okay, come on. We're going upstairs. Ugh, fine. See, Emily, this is why we take care of things, right? Yes, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome. Now, let, I have to get going home. Um, you can go to class, and hopefully your mother went to work. Okay, bye, Grandma. Bye. Okay, well, hopefully she has fun learning about the primary colors. Let me go home. Nicole, you're still here? Yeah, well, I was just waiting for you to get home from school. Well, yeah, what took you so long? So I was in this little incident with Emily. There was this boy that was picking on her, but I took care of that. Oh, thanks, Mom. Oh, yes, my wife should be here. Oh, there he is. Whoa, a DeLorean? Yeah, of course. Hello, my love, ready to get in? <laughs> yes, of course. Bye, Mom. Um, bye, Nicole. Man, no wonder she wears so much jewelry. Uh, have a good day at work. Okay. Shouldn't they be going the other way to get on the highway? Oh, whatever, maybe they'll take a different way today. Now I can relax. <sighs> what a busy morning it's been. Okay, good, most of the school kids have cleared up. Honey, why are we going this way? We're supposed to be going on the highway. We are going on a highway, honey, but going in a different direction. What? Going this way. Um, okay, but why? So your mom doesn't see? See what? You'll see. We can just turn the highway in here. Okay. We're going this way. This way? Yeah.
Oh look, here's a parking spot. Okay, honey, what is going on by all this? I mean, I know we're calling each other honey way too early still, but... Because we've just met. Well, honey... There's something I wanted to talk to you about. What? I mean, we're supposed to be at work. Yes, I understand, honey, I know. And we will go to work, maybe. But we might- but we'll be celebrating something. Celebrating what? <sighs> Nicole, we've- we met at basically over a month and a bit ago. Yeah, since you've moved here and started working, we have been getting to know each other quite a bit. And I love you a lot. Oh, I love you too. And I was wondering if you want to... Mm, sorry, I said this all wrong. I was wondering, Nicole, if you would like to marry me. Huh? What? Nicole, I'm not it. Will you... Hold on, this isn't really romantic. Follow me. Huh? What's he about to propose to me? Oh my god. Nicole, I'm not it. We have been together for quite a bit now. Like, if, over a month. But we've known each other for a little while now. And I have fallen in love with you, Nicole. You and I have both been single for quite a while, and have both been looking for love. And since I've found you, I believe I've found love. I know the past hasn't been easy, but I can see a whole future together of us, Nicole, of us getting married, having children, and whoa, whoa, whoa. Having more kids? I already have a daughter. I know you do, honey, but wouldn't you want to expand our family? We'd have to talk about that, but carry on. Nicole, I was wondering if you want to marry me and make me the happiest man alive. From the moment I first met you at work, you were the most beautiful and amazing person, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Nicole. Oh my gosh! Oh, yes! Yes, I'll marry you, yes! Perfect, hopefully we can get married this summer. Oh my god, yes! Yes, I love to marry you, yes! Oh my god, honey, yes! Awesome, honey. Now, well, how about we hang out for the rest of the day, and then around 3 o'clock, once your daughter gets home and your father gets home from work, we go home and we surprise everyone with our engagement. My mother is going to be so mad, but oh my gosh, I'll take that risk. Perfect. Let's go get some lunch, honey. Around lunch and after lunch, I mean after lunch, during lunch is what I meant. Oh my god, honey, this is absolutely amazing. You took me up to lunch. What about, wait, oh my god, it was a working day. Oh my god. Today's Friday, oh my god. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I took the day off. I scheduled both of us off and they approved it. <gasps> oh, thank you, honey. You're welcome. We don't have to work till Monday now. Yes, but we do have to make it up, though, next week. We have to work six days next week now instead of five. What? I have to work on Saturday? Well, sorry, honey, but I really wanted to make today about us and make it as its day of its own, because on the weekend, it would have been too hard to coordinate stuff like this. With your mom and everyone being home, and I know, honey. But, so, about our future now. Yes, what about it? A house? Marriage? Kids? Like, we need to discuss all this. First of all, housing. I'm living with my parents still. Yeah, we can move. You can don't have to live at home anymore, honey. You, me, and Emily, we can go out and buy a house of our own, and your parents can stay living there. But buy a house? But I helped them buy that house. I know, well, since they're now in their happily, living happily ever after, so can we, right? With Emily. Well... I guess we could, but, oh my gosh, like, you really want us to buy a house? Eventually, but I mean, we can stay living in the parents' basement for now. And, Emily, you want to have kids, honey? Well, I don't have children of my own, so of course I would like kids. I mean, I'm almost 40, so, I mean, I mean we're around the same age, yeah, but, yeah. Okay, and what about the rest of our lives? 
Well, hopefully we can get married this summer. Yes, we can. Congrats to us. Yes, congrats to us. Now, let's plan. After 3.30 p.m. Guess what, guys? We're engaged. Yay! Oh, my God! Bye.